Watch this as I scroll, the images smoothly rise in a 3D space like they're floating along the z-axis. Each one gradually comes into focus, creating an immersive and interactive effect. And if I scroll back down, they follow seamlessly. It's subtle but incredibly powerful. The best part? This works flawlessly on mobile too, making sure your site looks stunning on any device. And we are doing all of this using just Elementor and little bit of custom code. No extra plugins needed whatsoever. But as amazing as this 3D scrolling gallery is, heavy images and JS effects can slow down your site, especially on mobile devices. That's where Airlift steps in. Airlift isn't just another optimization tool, it's built to supercharge your site speed without sacrificing the smooth animations, images or effects that make your design pop. All you need to do is head over to Airlift, enter your site's URL and let Airlift handle the rest. Try it for free at airlift.net and keep your site running fast while keeping all your interactive elements intact. Alright, let's build this 3D scrolling gallery. First, we need a full width container to serve as the base. In Elementor, click the plus button. Set the direction to column so everything stacks vertically. Adjust the height to 100vh so it fills the full screen. Now go to the style tab. Set the background color to black for a sleek, modern look. And set the padding to zero to keep the layout clean. Now let's add the inner container that will hold all the image cards. Drag another container inside the first one and set its width to full with minimum height of 100vh to cover the screen. And under overflow, set it to hidden. This ensures that any moving elements won't break the layout. Next, we need a card holder to hold the images and text. Drag another container inside the inner container. Set its width to 400 pixels and align items to the center. Set the gap to zero to keep everything compact. Now go to positioning. Select Absolute and set Left to 0 and Top to 50%. This slightly shifts the card to the left while keeping it vertically centered. Once that's in place, let's add content inside the card. Drag a heading widget into the container and style it as needed. Once done, duplicate the heading to create a subheading that will sit below. Next, insert an image widget underneath the text. Go to the Style tab, set the image height to 450 pixels and choose Object Fit. Cover to ensure a consistent and a professional look. To complete the gallery, we need multiple image cards. Select the card container and duplicate it 7 more times. So there's a total of 8 image cards here. Go through each duplicated container and change the images and text to create variety while maintaining a structured layout. Now to make the 3D animation work, we need to assign class names and add some custom code. First, select the outer container and assign it the class name outer container. Then select the inner container and assign it the class name inner container. Now go back to the first container, add an HTML widget at the top and paste the JavaScript code inside. This code controls the 3D scrolling effect, making each image appear dynamically based on the scroll position. Click update and preview and you'll see the gallery smoothly coming to life as you scroll. Right now the mobile view is cutting off the images, so let's fix that to make sure everything stays centered. First we need to disable the HTML widget for mobile devices. Open the responsive settings in Elementor. Find the HTML widget and disable it for all mobile views. Now let's adjust the first inner container to fit the mobile screen properly. Select the first inner container, go to image settings, and set the height to 300 pixels. Select the container itself and ensure the desktop width remains at 400 pixels, but for mobile, change the width to 300 pixels and set the left margin to minus 117 pixels to keep it properly positioned. These are the settings that I'm using for my device, but you can also change it according to yours. Since the effect alternates card positions, the next card needs the same margin but without the negative sign. And set the image height to 300 pixels to maintain consistency. Keep the width at 300 pixels. Continue applying this alternating margin pattern for all the remaining image containers. Each container should have the opposite margin value of the previous one to keep the layout structured and balanced. Once all the containers are adjusted, preview the site 
and make sure every card aligns properly as you scroll. If needed, tweak the margin value slightly until everything is perfectly centered. Now the 3D scroll effect works flawlessly on both desktop and mobile, creating an interactive dynamic experience that adapts to any screen size. And that's it. You've just built a fully responsive 3D image gallery in Elementor using only Elementor containers and a bit of custom code. If you found this tutorial helpful, let me know in the comments. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.